Overall, it was a pretty great experience. It was, uh, I came in, since I had to miss my uh, grade 12 outdoor season, I came in injured. But Coach Hull is like extremely patient, so he just took me in and eased me into the mileage in our workouts. I had great support system through the coaches, through my roommates, especially Ibrahim Ahmed, Mike Tate and Ishti. They helped me through. So basically we just like, I upped my mileage a little bit, but overall it's such a dynamic program. And we have like workouts for speed, endurance, lactic threshold, there's all different kinds. So it's like, for me, I really love it just because it's interesting and everything is new. So otherwise it was good. Altitude killed me the first play a couple of weeks. It was just like, I couldn't go up hills barely. I was just chuggling up, but after a while, I was good, got adapted, and then I started seeing improvements. My first race wasn't until like cross country nationals, where I came, I think, 11th. And by that, by age, I missed world youth or world junior team by one spot. So it was a little frustrating, but it was a good step in the right direction to my season. Had indoors, that was a new experience. I've never done indoors. So that was great. I got new workouts for that. Got to learn how to race tactically more than just like going out to the front. So that was good. Got pushed around a little bit, but it was fun and then rolled right into ind outdoors. And then I got to travel a bunch down to California, Washington, and I got just mostly, it was this year, I would say more of an experience instead of like a breakout. So I learned how to race. I learned how to uh, work out, learn how to adapt to new things. And otherwise I hit my PBs, hit a 5K first time ever, considering I never did a 3K in high school. So that was fun. So uh, yeah, now the goal is just uh, get prepared for junior nationals and hopefully Pan American games. So that's a big one. That's exciting. So you uh, you talked about um, having a variety uh, of workouts. Yeah. I assume that, uh, and you also mentioned a moment ago that uh, you built mileage carefully, I think you said. So I assume you haven't done the, uh, the legendary Cam Levin's 160 miles per week. No, I have not. That's the goal though. Like when I get up there, I definitely want to, coach has already talked to me for my summer plan. I will be upping it. But the thing is, he's not like some, I feel like co other coaches might just jump into it. He wants me to build slowly. So that's a good thing. I feel safe in that situation. So, but this summer I definitely will be putting more mileage since I'm healthy. It should be good. And um, no, but there's guys like Hayden Hawks and Nate Jukes. Hayden actually does 150 miles a week in six days with five workouts a week. So wow. I got some inspiration and some guys to look up to, which is great. Have you, have you uh, seen his log of how many naps he needs a week? <laughs> no, but apparently I've seen his food log and it's absolutely <laughs> nuts. How many calories that guy can take in and he's skinnier than me, so, and it's, which is hard, so. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. So you just talked about uh, a little bit about uh, your first indoor season and getting pushed around a little bit and, yeah. and learning about that. So can you talk to me about some of the, uh, the things that uh, you ran into in indoors? Yeah, for sure. Basically, it's like the island, it's really condensed. So we don't have, say, guys from Offsa even where they have a lot of competition. It was basically Ben Weir and Thomas Getty and myself competing against each other. So we didn't really, I never had the situation of having 10 guys around me in the same pace with way better PBs and being able to like push me around. So I got used to it. Like my first race, I think it was at NEU. And I think Footsum was in the race and against a couple other guys who are like all Americans and they just slapped me. But I didn't get frustrated. Coach just explained that it's your freshman year and you got to learn how to race. So I got used to it and now it's gone a lot better. My tactics have become actually something that is good. All right. And then uh, any, any crazy hazing things that you can discuss with your mother not too far away? Uh, no, it wasn't too bad. Nothing crazy, but uh, Mike Tate took me through a couple of ringers. Just getting used to it, but he's he's honestly a great teammate, just like Eve and Ishti. There's a lot of guys. The team is really good, so nothing crazy. There are a few Canadians on your team down there too, aren't there? Yeah, Ibrahim Ahmed, who's Mo Ahmed's brother, and then Mike Tate, who is going to be hopefully at Rio. So it's going to be great. So you'd mentioned a minute ago uh, Pan Am Games. Mm -hmm. You have to qualify for that still. You've hit some standards, yeah. as you mentioned but now you have to go to Junior Nationals in Edmonton mm -hmm. and you have to finish top two in your uh, event? Yeah, 15 and 5K. You're gonna try for both? Both, yeah, I'm just gonna do both and see if I qualify for either one. Okay, and then what about uh, next year? What are your goals for uh, your second year at university? Second year is basically now that I feel like I'm adapted, that I really actually wanna hit my mileage and hit workouts actually strong compared to just surviving. Because it's basically last year, this year was just hanging on and then getting dropped. Now I feel like I'm strong enough to hang with the top guys maybe we'll actually have good workouts, solid workouts and consistent. That's the biggest thing that we want to be is consistent. Not every day is a A plus workout, it's a B minus almost, and then a couple A's there and there. 
But um, the goal is we got some awesome recruits coming in. Casey and Josh Collins, who is state champ in the mile in Utah, who's already like a 406 guy, which is crazy. Wow. So we got some guy, great guys coming in, guys who are already coming in who are going to be stronger next year. So my goals are basically to traveling squad for cross country nationals. We want to come top 10, top 15 at NCAAs. And then outdoors, indoors and outdoors, just improve on my PVs and basically just start to really get good. So, yeah. Good. Well, good luck going forward. Thank you. Thank you for this. Yeah, it's awesome.